right, welcome back. Former Minneapolis police officer Kim Potter currently testifying in her own defense. Her attorney, Earl Gray, asking her questions now. Those questions include uh, some concerns about her weapon confusion and what she remembers about first seeing that black, or sorry, the white Buick that Dante Wright was driving. Let's listen in to Kim Potter now as she's on the stand. What do you remember happening after that? I remember a struggle with Officer Lucky and the driver at the door. Um, the driver was trying to get back into the car. Uh, well, he was trying to get back in the car. What did you do? I went around Officer Lucky as they're trying to get back in the door. I'm between the door and Officer Lucky and, and the driver. And the driver's getting into the car. And what happened next? And they're still struggling and I can see Sergeant Johnson and the driver struggling over the, the gear shifts because I can see Johnson's hand and then I can see his face. And you, you knew Johnson for many years before this, is that right? Yes. And by looking at his face at that point in time, what did you interpret it to mean? He had a look of fear on his face. It's nothing I'd seen before. Did you say anything when you saw this? What did you do? We were struggling. We were trying to keep him from driving away. It just, it just went chaotic. I, it. And then I remember yelling, taser, 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 and nothing happened. And then he told me I shot him. Can you proceed or do you? Yes, it's fine. Okay. After the driver said you shot him, do you remember what you said? Or do you, if you don't remember, did you look at the video and see what you said? Or I... Do you actually remember what you said, I guess is my question, not with help from a video? I don't remember what I said. And what do you remember next, if anything? Uh, I rem they had an ambulance for me, and I, I don't know why. And then I went. Then I was at the station. I don't remember a lot of things afterwards. Do you remember saying something about prison? No. If you did say that, do you have any idea now why you would say that? No. Was but the climate back then about police officers a little rough? Objection, Your Honor. The objection is sustained. All right. You don't remember saying it? No. And you don't know why you said it? No. Do you, did you... Do you remember the response that our Sergeant Johnson, or Major Johnson, gave you? No. And when next do you remember what happened, if anything, if you remember? I remember getting an ambulance, and then I was at the station. Okay. And you remember being in the ambulance, arriving at the station? No. You don't remember the no. station? I remember getting to the station. Once you got to the station, do you remember what happened next? Um, the next thing I remember is Officer Fricky was in the room with me. And where were you located? Do you remember that? Uh, in the front office. Okay. In the front office room, do you remember? Were you sitting down, standing up? I, I was on the floor. All right, we've been listening to uh, former Minneapolis police officer Kim Potter describing 
emotionally describing the moment that she fired her weapon uh, at Dante Wright's direction, uh, talking about the confusion, the fight over him fleeing from the officers there on the scene, telling him uh, to stop, and the other officers trying to get him uh, in handcuffs. But he took off. She fired her weapon. She says she thought she was firing her taser. You saw her break down there on the stand. Uh, this testimony continues, guys. We will continue to monitor it, monitor it, and we'll bring you any more developments as it warrants. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.